Okay, so for your project, you're going to be doing what's called an eraser drawing or erasure drawing, depending on who you are and how you want to pronounce it. Um, some of you, again, may have done these before, but you're going to be doing this for the figure. So, what you're going to want to do is take your vine charcoal. If you want to be bold, you can use your compressed charcoal or your um, black soft pastel. But whatever you use, if it's one of, make sure it's one of those three, but whatever you use, you're going to cover your entire drawing surface with an even mid-tone. So, I drew this little guy as an example. Let's say that this is your paper. Fine charcoal is very fragile, so be careful. You see how I'm using the side of it? And I'm using a very light touch. Now, the reason you want to use a mid-tone and not too dark or too light is because you're going to be erasing out everything from the mid-tone and lighter, and you're going to be adding in with your drawing utensil everything from the mid-tone and darker. So you start with a mid-tone base, and make sure that it's totally even so that you get a nice even surface to work with. Okay, so that's fairly even, but remember what I said when I was going over your materials? Your chamois cloth will pick some pigment up. Look at that. Um, so my mid-tone was a little dark, so I'm going to lighten it up to make it a true mid-tone. And the chamois will also smooth things out and make them more even. I think for the most part that's a good place to start. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is use your eraser, whether it's the pink pearl or whether it's your kneaded or both. And anything that is from the mid-tone and lighter, you're going to use your eraser to erase out, depending on how light that value is. So you can see the difference here. This is going to give you a light light. This one's going to give you closer to that mid-tone range. Now, everything that's from the mid-tone and darker, you're going to be adding in. Just make sure that you're using the right kind of pressure for what you want to be really, really dark and really, really light. Okay? So that's the gist of it. If you have any questions, just let me know.